Hi. We've just got delivered a Zappi charger. And this isn't really a review on, on the item again. More or less the trouble of shooting guide on, on this product. Uh, as you know, Zappi is a special car charger which charges up the car. Uh, normal car charges for home, home use is uh, 7 kilowatts. Now this will reduce the uh, 7 kilowatt output to, uh, well in my case it will reduce it to uh, 3 kilowatts which is the output of my solar panels. And one of the main problems with uh, my previous Zappi charger was it was giving me false readings from the grid CT. Uh, it would only charge fast charge and eco mode. Uh, eco plus was giving me weird readings. And I found out um, eventually that this wire should be as short as possible. I had my wire from the electricity meter to the consumer unit at roughly, I don't know, three meters and this clamp was at the end of three meters and that was giving me loads of weird readings making it hard to uh, for the zappy charger to read what what power it was taking and what power to limit to the charger um, since then you can see that there's a wireless sensor option basically allows you to wirelessly connect this CT clamp close to the meter on the other side of the, the outside meter box while this long cable is connected to the other part of the house and it gives me better readings. I also have a uh, a uh, the solar array which uh, I've ordered another CT clamp I think it was £9, £10 just to get this so it will give me a readout of the solar power going in and gives me better optimizes the zappy charger for full solar charging replacing the zappy was pretty much easy the old zappy has the same similar screws and i just took out the old one and replaced it with the new one uh, there's only three screws to fit in to the wall and fitting the live neutral and earth wire is pretty much simple. Remember to use the CT2 wire into the new system as well, which means you have to pull all the wires together. Right, so I've connected it up and this is what I got an exclamation mark on the grid, uh, which is not connected because uh, it's the wireless Harvey that should be connected to that. And there's no solar input as well so what I'm going to do is just go into the uh, devices go into all the settings uh, set the time and date later on go into advance put in my password and then um, yeah go into the CD inputs So I want CT1 as off. Story journey, generate battery monitor, AC battery, and then on. Get out of that. Go into CT2, it should. Connect and then generation only. Type that in, get it out. So if I just double check that, there you go, getting the inputs. Right, I'm just gonna have to uh, 
I'll do the same this time for the um, connecting to the CT1 which is basically similar uh, let's see link devices there you go devices that'd be the zappy so I just want to be in pairing mode button uh, it should flash blue here um, it's already connected to the meter so all you have to do is press that and make sure the Harvey is in um, here we are link devices just uh, click onto it. devices check that out and go into the Harvey itself and you have all these uh, things readings so it'll be a single phase and I'll put it on CT1 so I want to put it on and change it to not actually it's good isn't it so grid and that should do it So it's generating 0.2 and it should be outputting uh, to the house and the grid and it's actually showing up flickering between so I would say that will, is working now. So there you go, in eco mode, it's taking a little bit from the grid, as you can see, and it's taking a little bit from solar, but it's not much. There is a difference with this new software. Um, just want to try it on eco plus. At this point in time, there's a 30 second delay where I have to wait until the mode changes over pause because there's not enough sun waiting for surplus so that kind of works if I you know, press it into the fast mode it should go up to seven kilowatts now thereabouts I'm going to change the mode into eco again. Reducing it down. Which is perfect. So basically, the old software, which was a one point something something it's changed to a 2.0 um, number and the upgrade on the software has actually improved it the point all I have to do now is just to uh, adjust a few things I mean the two CT clamps working so what I want to do is just to go into the chart settings anyway and normally what I do is have it on the eco settings and it's at 50 percent so whatever i supply it three uh, two kilowatts of solar power uh, half of that will be supplied by the solar and an extra two will probably be supplied by the grid i don't want to do that i just want to have it 100 percent Eighty, and I should do it. Um, it's a dull day now. You can see that awfully dull day. So what I'm going to do is just um, leave it at eighty, 
and it should supply me with at least 1.5 kilowatts at the moment uh, my car is charging 95 percent and i've got about an hour's charge on this so um yeah i'll just leave it like that charge it up to about 98 percent and i can go off and do a shopping run all right thanks for watching and this is how i was troubleshooted my zappy charger uh, no fault by means by the company but uh, hopefully the new software update uh, should improve things and i won't get a ventilation error but uh, who knows anyway subscribe to my channel like turn on the new notifications and i'll try and get some more hints and tips for charging my electric car. Cheers, bye.